Welcome back to Let's Play Spyro 2, Ripto's Rage Reignited. I'm Burning Dog Face, and, uh, I'd like to start things off by revealing that, uh, I have discovered that if you switch to keyboard controls while, you know, one of these button prompts is in the air, then it changes to a generic icon because you can set whatever fucking key you want to be the keyboard and mouse controls. I find that neat. Spyro, keep collecting those orbs. We can't send you to Dragon Shores until you have enough. Not only will the orbs help power the super portal, but they'll help you break into the castle. Well, can't argue with that. Hang on a tick. Hmm. I had a feeling because I learned how to break those right over there. And I learned how to break these in Shady Oasis. Ooh. Tasty. Mmm, leaves a pleasantly minty aftertaste in my mouth. I don't know, it's discolored. Thought I might be able to get in there. Alright, first things first. I saw something down here. Thanks for those sparkles. Nice. How am I doing here? Ooh! Most of the way! Huh. Well, let's not jump in just yet in case the current is way stronger than it looks and I immediately go off the edge. Because that would be embarrassing. I do like the way he just sort of nudges them towards me. Looks very low effort. I like that. Efficiency. Uh, no current at all, sure. The fuck are you- oh, hey. What are you doing in here? One last speedway adventure for you, Spyro. It's not that expensive, you know. Okay, come back when you want to do some racing. One last speedway adventure for you, Spyro. It's not that expensive, you know. You've chosen wisely. I bet a quick dragon like you will win your money back in no time. Right in the wallet. Canyon Speedway. Huh. Eh. Eh. Right, I didn't think that would work. You know what? That has inspired me. But not in the way you might think. Because I left this undone. Huh. I just used that for four minutes of filler when I didn't want to put four minutes of gulp on. Oh god! Fuck. Supercharge! Oh! This is a mess! Oh! Yeah, I don't feel like I'm gonna win this particular one. Jumping into the chain somewhere along the way. Oh, hey, look. Nice! Sorry, Lumberjack dude. Yeah, that's right, they look like you've gone Cornelius from, uh... Uh, uh what was it? R uh, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, the, uh, the classic special.
I always liked the theory that, uh, because Hermie is the only elf with hair and, you know, proper eyes, then, uh, the reason he doesn't fit in with the others is because he's secretly Santa's bastard son. Damn! Oh, man, I was one away! Holy shite! I didn't think I'd get nearly that good! I was screenshotting that. Hell yeah! Why, Spyro? These guys are your friends! Should I be taking out the, uh, the Nessies along the way? I don't know. It feels weird to mix and match as I go along, but they're intersp interspersed, interspaced? I don't know. I incinerated his dancing partner, and he doesn't even mind. He just keeps going, for he is the true lord of the dance. Fuck. Ah! Oh well. If I squint, it's almost like I got them all. One of these races told you to beat up Hunter and Alora, would you do that? Damn it, Ogo Pogo, look what you've done! Okay, before the next attempt, I just wanted to get a couple comments out. Uh, shout out to Elthwar and Derek Floyd, who had comments on the subject of uh, that friend of my brother's who got stuck with Behemoth at the very beginning of uh, Final Fantasy. Uh, let's see. Elthwar says, speaking of starts to Final Fantasy, I knew someone that got into a random encounter in Final Fantasy 1 before they could get into the first town and purchase equipment. Didn't encounter the behemoth, but it was a rough start. Yeah, that sucks. Ouch. Uh, and Derek Floyd says that this is interesting. Behemoth does not appear in the original Final Fantasy outside of concept art. This sounds like Final Fantasy II, where Behemoth is a 1.8% random encounter outside Mycidia. The NES Final Fantasy II was not released outside Japan until the Final Fantasy Origins collection for the PS1 in 2003. Square shelved an English translation in favor of porting Final Fantasy IV from the Super Famicom to the Super Nintendo and renaming it Final Fantasy II. I was aware of that one. Uh, I think their thought was that uh, a big, you know, JRPG would be too complicated for American audiences. So they skipped the, uh, complicated, you know, FF2 and FF3 and put out the, you know, mechanically somewhat simpler, uh, Final Fantasy IV, where you're not, like, picking job classes and everything. Uh, and it's a linear story. I think the other one is a linear story, too. But, you know, you're not picking job classes for your characters, you just need to buy them equipment. 
And oh, by the way, for the American release, they took out a number of more complicated abilities. I, I guess uh, the only one I remember off the top of my head is uh, the protagonist had an ability that let you cause damage to yourself in exchange for doing a much more powerful attack against the enemies. But you can't do that in the American version, because I guess they thought a self-damaging attack was, again, too complicated. They did that a lot with uh, Japanese games from that era. Whatever. Back into the rush. No! Oh, fuck! I couldn't- I actually couldn't stop! <laughs> that was crazy. Like, I didn't even mean to leave that guy behind or anything. Uh... There's the issue there. I can't really I can't really get a judge on their hitboxes when they're such a weird shape, so I keep running into them or missing them with my fire. Okay. I got this one down pretty pat. I landed on that guy. Fucking body slam from nowhere. Ah! He did it again, he did it again. I wasn't even holding forward. Oh! It is admittedly considerably easier when you're going at them head-on. You don't need to worry about their long noodle bodies. There you are! Oh, fuck! Oh good, I only needed one more go at it. I, didn't, I thought about counting that one. Oh, that was the first time since the jump cut. But no! I didn't need to start counting at all. Gnarly! Yeah, that feels good. Oh, but I was warned, I think, by TK Driver X. Apologies if I got that one wrong, I didn't write this down. Because it was kind of a general concept. Yeah, apparently all of the, uh, the speedways do have gems in them. I said gems, I meant orbs. Which is weird, because they don't show up on the outside. So I guess I just look around? Oh, it is counting up again, so I do have time to look around. Oh, fuck, I can't actually go any higher than that. So I can't go over the castle. Sure! What about in here? Uh, okay, just nothing. I wondered because I never had time to look around in there. Alright, where the fuck? It won't let me hot fly any higher than this, which is really weird. Because I really want to fly through that ring up there. But it won't let me. Let's I'm assuming I'm looking for Hunter, or a group of people, or... Hmm. F 
fucking A. Ah! Jesus. I forgot about the supercharge thing, I admit it. I see, protecting your snowmobile. That's very clever. Good job, Spyro. Looks like you're ready for a more serious challenge. How about a little paragliding? You're not afraid of heights, are you? Uh, I don't really need a parachute to glide, but okay. Great! I'll tow you behind my snowmobile, and you maneuver through the rings. Don't miss any, or we'll have to start over. I've just realized that the rocket on his hat, the little logo there, is the one from inside the O on Toys for Bob. Oh, boy. Okay, I'm moving left and right. I think it's like the rings will either be in on the left, the right, or the middle. That's what I'm feeling. Fifty rings?! I heard you were good at this flying stuff. Uh, oh well. Want to go for it again? Great. I'll tow you behind my snowmobile and you maneuver through the rings. Don't miss any or we'll have to start over. Oh, no, it's right in the middle. Okay. Way to go, Spyro. You're even better than I am. Oh, thank you. Yeah. One hundred percent level complete. Ah, uh, oh. Oh, I'm too high to do that. Right, 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 right. Ahem. 100% level complete. Aw, yeah. Let me do this loop de loop version. <laughs> uh, quit level? Yes. Normally that brings up, you know, quit to menu uh, or quit to desktop, so. Actually, no, this one doesn't give you the desktop option. I feel every PC game probably should, but, you know. Now I just have to remember that I cannot fly out here. Okay, that felt really good. You know what? Just pardon me a moment. Okay, I looked it up. My sincerest apologies. It was actually Miracle Tiger, not uh, TK Driver X, who left that comment. However, uh, I do remember TK Driver X correcting me that uh, they liked uh, treetops because of the sense of satisfaction. Did I already do that one? I don't know. The sense of satisfaction you get from uh, completing all those crazy jumps. So, you know. Not everyone hates treetops. <laughs> oh, might, have, might have been reusing that one. I did forget to actually go there, didn't I? Oh, right, yeah, I've done this one too. Which means I just need to find... 
Oh, right, those are the things I'm going towards. Oh. Uh -huh. Walrus man. I can't believe I was so dead on. Or is this something with that igloo sticking out like a sore thumb? Oh, I thought that was a... a I thought that right there was a, a beach umbrella. It's like, is he tanning up there? Maybe I have to open the doors by murdering pigeons. I do like how manic the music is here. Sorry. Tide must get high around here to have starfish that high up the sides of the pylons. Take that! Now that structure is useless! Worse, it's meaningless. Huh. You know, I've only just realized consciously that, uh, uh Marks is in here. Not including that. Where the butt is he? Again, can't go any higher than this. Is he gone? Where can I even look? There's just nothing here except the things I'm supposed to interact with. I mean, Miracle Tiger's comment actually mentioned Metro Speedway by name. Wondering if he doesn't appear until you do the things? I mean, I was only murdering the pigeons to, uh, you know, open up the paths. What do these ones do? I don't remember. I was half expecting one of the bungee jumping guys to be a uh, hunter, but they all appear identical. 
Hello? Mr. Hunter. Oh! What? We've been having a crime problem here in Metro Speedway, but I think you might be able to help. A band of cat burglars have been raiding my re-election funds by scaling the walls of the buildings. Would you be willing to help get rid of them? Why does the race track have a mayor? I mean, okay. It really doesn't help that the timer just now went off. Great! Hunter can knock the scoundrels off of the buildings, but we'll need you to catch the loot before it lands in the canal and gets lost. Good luck. Hunter is waiting for you outside. Sorry about that. Huh. It looks like you missed one. But there always seem to be more burglars trying to rob us blind. Are you ready to try again? I was going to say maybe later. I understand. I'm sure we'll find some other way of stopping these criminals. But you can always come back if you change your mind. I just need to... Oh. What? And it's reset everything. Okay. Well, I guess I should call it then. Yeah, there it is, okay. The really funny thing is, I was uh, looking in there because I thought that light was a top hat. And then I immediately ran into a dude wearing a top hat. Well, we'll help the mayor in his Jervis Tetch-ass outfit in the next episode of Let's Play Spyro 2, Ripto's Rage Reignited. I'm Burning Dog Face. And I will. See you then. Later.